Hi, this is Eric at FlexPVC.com, and we're going to do a short little video today about how to get a perfect glue joint, PVC glue joint. Okay, what we have here is a cross section of a fitting, and this is what most people think they look like, but that's not actually true. Actually, the fittings are tapered, and the diameter at the top of the fitting is greater than the diameter of the bottom of the fitting and it's about 0.01 inches difference between here and here. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it's what makes the whole thing work. Here's what happens. When you take your primer and your glue and you put it on your pipe and your fitting, you shove the pipe in, and as it gets towards the base of the fitting down in here, the pipe is actually greater than, the diameter of the pipe is actually greater than the base of the socket. So when you put your primer and glue in there, it starts to soften the socket right in here, right in this area here, and you shove your pipe in there and this actually forces itself, welds itself into the fitting. Okay, now I'm going to show you the proper way to glue a socket and a pipe. Okay, <clears throat> here's what you see guys do all the time. They take their dauber, they put it in their primer or their glue, it doesn't matter, they do this, then they come out here, they do this, and they shove the two pipes together, or the pipe and the fitting together. That's actually wrong. The way it's supposed to be done is this. You put your primer, and you go to the base of the fitting, down here. This is where you need to be. When you do your pipe, you need to be at the end of the pipe, right here. So, your primer, primer, put your other dauber, I only have one dauber, so this is the other dauber for the glue. You come in, you put your glue here, you put your glue at the base, then you join your two pieces together. If you don't do this, you're not going to get a good glue joint. Now what happens is I know what guys say. Oh, well look, what happens is I just put the glue here, and then when I put the pipe in, the glue shoves it down in there. That does not work. That creates what's called a cold, a cold joint, and here's why. From the time it takes you to take your primer, and you put your primer down here, just watch, I'll do it in real time. Primer, fitting, primer, pipe, change cans, now I got glue, glue fitting, glue on the pipe, put my dauber away, take in two pieces, join them together. Okay, in that time that it took to do all those steps, that primer was starting to eat into the plastic of the fitting. So what happens is when you take and you just put your glue out here and you shove this down in, there's no time and you get what's called a cold joint and that's what causes the leak. Now, here's another very important step. When you do this, you take your dauber and you go around like this. I promise you, I have done millions of glue joints, okay? Here's what happens. The guys go like this, and then the dauber comes away from the pipe, and they go like this, because everybody goes real fast, okay? And here's the way that you can prove to yourself I'm telling you the truth. Do this, and then turn, rotate the pipe 180 degrees, and what you will often find is something that looks like this. You'll have the glue on the top, but down as on the bottom of the pipe, you missed. Same thing for the primer. It's easier to see with the glue, of course. But, uh, excuse me. Uh, so, you'll see it with the glue because there'll be a, a big spot where it's missing. So, in the beginning, when you first start to glue, take your dauber, make sure you hold upward pressure as you go down uh, around the bottom, and then just to make sure, turn the pipe 180 degrees so that you can see you actually did get glue all the way around the pipe. Now you don't have this problem when you're doing the fitting, that works out really well because you're going in the same direction all the time. But this, you're going down, and then you're going down, and you miss. You go like that, and, you, and then you come back up, and you miss this spot down here. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that's the correct way to make a glue joint. If you do this, and you use good prim uh, uh, primer and good glue, you'll never have a leak. Okay, this has been Eric at FlexPVC.com. Thank you for watching.